All right, so we're gonna learn some anti-lay with a lay main. And uh, I thought that this could be Welcome beneficial the for many players, since lay is a character that um, not many people understand. Yeah, so first right. step to understand lay is uh, watch a lot of Jackie Chan movies. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, so, yeah. With, uh, without Jackie Chan, you have no chance to understand Lei. So Jackie Chan fans already understand everything about Lei. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they have everything that matters. Anti Lei knowledge. <laughs> um, and I, I know when he's yeah. going in drunken, he's uh, it's impossible to win against him. Yeah. Also, um, I believe that sharing anti character knowledge benefits not only the players you talk to Anybody but also the lay players because they then they are forced to improve their own game plan and come up Anybody with new strategies that's just my opinion and uh, it Fight. this this is not only for lay players but we can say the same about any other matchups yeah and um, the point is um <laughs> if you're playing against a good lay player and yeah. um, the lay player knows that you know the anti the anti lay stuff, he will adapt to that. So lay isn't helpless in that case. Yeah. But a lot of players who don't know the matchup, they think like, um, wow, lay got a million unseeable low launchers uh, from any stance, and they just get launched every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're clueless as to what what moves does he even have and how do they work. I never yeah, really um, understood his stances and uh, transitions. And whenever I try to pick up lay myself, I just I'm just feel intimidated and discouraged because <laughs> yes. he's so complicated. Yes, and um, that's the same for new lay players, uh, for example. If you're fighting against a lay player in lower ranks, they tend to party a lot. Yeah. So they have... Um, I don't say that um, lay players in lower ranks are bad Tekken players, but they tend to have a bad defense. So if a lay player in lower ranks invites you to a party, go party. Because uh, <laughs> they can't defend with you. Yeah, but, chances um, are their defense is not good. Yeah. My defense sucks as well. And I'm taking God Prime online. And my defense sucks. My defense sucks too, so... <laughs> <laughs> so my defense is so bad, um, I didn't get the punish for Kazumi's down forward 2 in tournament. That's how bad it is. So, oh. they play us, um, are often overwhelmed because of their own move pool. And they tend to party. Uh huh. And how is his punishment? Let's yeah, talk about his punisher. Yeah, what does he have for punishment? That's a really weak point to lay. So for 10 frames, he has 1-1. One, one. Uh huh. And if it hits, um, you can hold forward to go into snake. Yeah. And that's a good mix up situation for lay. So it deals only 19 damage if it hits. Do 1-1. One, one. So as you can see, there's not a lot of damage involved. Ah, but, yes. Um, in Snake, he has a mix-up then. He is plus 6 and in Snake. He has Snake 4, which is um, 15 frames fast, so it's a true mix-up, which is a rare situation for Lane. Yeah, uninterruptible. But yeah, is it steppable? Um, I believe you can step it to the left. Let's try again. Mm, maybe Lily can. But um, I don't think that... I don't mm, think interesting. That so that's the first mix up. You can if say. this is unsteppable and uninterruptible, the uninterruptible, then it's a true mix up. Yeah, it's a true mix up between Snake 4 and Snake 2. And Snake 2 is the real deal. So if you see um, a stance, you're often um, very scared and you want to duck yeah. because you're scared of low launchers. But uh, Snake is, a ex is an exception. So you have Snake 2, which is hit confirmable. Uh, hit confirmable. Ah. As you can see, the delay. Oh, okay, show me. Funny. It's highly delayable. Oh, and, damn. Um, it's pretty easy to hit confirm. Even on two bars online, you must be able to hit confirm this. And is and it like uh, mid mid low or what is it? Yeah, yeah. Mid, mid mid low. low. And if the first mid hits, it's a completely neutral combo. Ah, neutral I combo. see. And uh, how much is the low on block? Is it launch punishable? The low is launch punishable, yeah. Okay. Um, can you do that? 1-1 one, one into 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Oh wait, 1-1 one, one into 2-2-2. Two, two, two. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> How do I get out? <laughs> Let's try again. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Okay. Perfect. It's ah, I see. 
And the uh, and the other low, the first one, is That's, this um, this is launch punishable too, right? I think it's minus thirteen. Ah, I, I see. Remember correctly. It's a really good low. Alright! Yeah, it's it's bullshit. It's one of Lay's worst lows, to be honest, because it is minus on hit and it leaves you in snake and ah. it's trash. It's just uh, for this mix up I believe. It has and I and I thought Lay has bad mix ups. <laughs> Um, and um, Lei had bad yeah, mix yeah, I thought Lei is like really unsafe, you know. Yeah, that's the case to most of his moves. But um, as this is um, meant to be a punisher for Lei, mm -hmm. he has a effective mix-up afterwards. Mm -hmm. But um, from non-punishers like uh, down forward one plus two into tie gun, this is yeah. not a mix-up even on hit. So yeah, ah, really? hold forward afterwards. Hold forward afterwards to go into tie gun, and even if it hits on counter or whatever. I can interrupt any option with what's standing form. Yes, you can parry, but if you do a move like Tiger Form afterwards, yeah. I can interrupt with what's standing those. form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So this is how you deal with his Tiger Stance. Um, you, you try in to interrupt. Not in general. This is well, after downfall 1 plus 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah after downfall 1 plus 2. You can always... Watch and this is a move I see really often. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a fake mm. mix-up, you can say. Yeah, see, this is gimmick number one that we, we should deal yeah. with. Oh, right. okay. But um, there's, one, um, there's one thing to remember about this move. If it yes. hits tip range, like uh -huh. this, you can. It sometimes happens that you whiff what's standing for if I backdash out of Tiger. Uh huh. You know? So I can whiff punish the what's standing for, but only if it hits tip range. Alright. And uh, does this stance parry like everything? Um, Even everything it... except of uh, lows and except of um, knee attacks and elbow attacks. All right, so, so just like Azuka's parry. So if you expect the lay player to backdash in the stance, then knees and lows could be viable moves to interrupt him, I guess. Yeah, right. But right. only if he backdashes. If he dashes yeah. forward, uh, he can interrupt anything. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. With his parry. So it's like a hard read on on the lay player backdashing. Then it might mm. work. I wouldn't say it has a lot to do with reads. Um, I will just say if you see a lay player in Tiger, um, just do everything to uh, stop him from moving around. I because see. Because you definitely don't want a lay player in Tiger because the movement is exceptionally good. Uh, yeah. Um, yes, unseeable <laughs> low launch. It's there. really annoying, yes. It's uh, like. Imagine a lay player running around in Tiger all the time. So you Yeah, you that's my lost. nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Chat is like teach us haha -ha step. Haha -ha step? Alright. <laughs> oh, oh. ha, 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 ha. How do you do that? <laughs> so you do uh, back three plus four and um, press back immediately again. Ah. Like um back three plus four and back. Yeah. Like oh this is really easy actually. Might but be able to do this quite easily. Okay. But um, it isn't really useful, so it's not that evasive, to be it's honest. It's not that evasive, hmm. Yeah. The better option out of tech turn is this one, I believe. This uh, creates a lot of space between both players and you can run away. Down back, like this. yes. Yeah, run away like this. But uh, when you hold down back, and this is... Me talking as a Xiaoyu player who also have to hold down back many times. That can also be really risky because you can get hit yeah. by mids in the back. Yeah, that's right. So, um, a lot of lab players do forward forward free and then they hold back um, and, and hold back. the enemy with something and then with punish with what's standing free plus form. Yeah, that's I see this very often. Players. Yeah. But, so. Um, you can interrupt that with uh, any mids that's up to I believe 15 frames or something. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, I can just interrupt with down forward one round. Oh, wait. Yes. And would jabs work against down back? Um, jabs don't work against uh, down back, I believe. Uh, mm. Let's try that. Hold down back afterwards. Oh, I see. So you evade so, jabs and yeah. some play players do what's then quick as well then. So your best bet are quick mids. Yeah, quick miss is it's the best path. Mm -hmm. right. So if you have a mid that's um, 12 frames up to 14 frames maybe as a punisher, use that. Like, but uh, then Chinese, you can... Don't back four, don't back yeah. two, I mean. 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, doesn't he have an extension off of that hop kick as well? Yes, that's right. It's a um, it's a high, mm -hmm. but um, it's safe if you if it goes on block and you can duck it and launch late for it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like um, I wouldn't do this except of um, the situation at the end of the round, or yes. if my back is against the wall. Because, but then again, um, yeah. Because they can also forward forward free and hold back to go into back turns, and then hoping for you to duck. Uh, if you expect the high extension, and then counter you, counter hit you Anybody with uh, back turn down piece? one. Mm -hmm. I will show you. So right. if you try to duck the second hit here and try to punish with um, anything, okay. I can also hold back and this. Ah, yeah. So if you try to punish him, he's gonna interrupt you. Yeah. So it's kind of a mind game. And uh, wouldn't duck jabs be guaranteed? Can he interrupt duck jabs? Mm, maybe he can jump over it, no. no. But, um. Because I feel like duck, ja duck jabs would, uh. Yeah, they crush the high. It's a very safe option, but you can get more out of it um, if the late player just uh, is back -turned. Yeah. I mean, this is the safest option, but you can get more out of it. Yes, yes. This is like a situation where. I, I would use a duck jab when you don't want to deal with his mix up from from the hop kick, but of but, course uh, it's not the best option. You yeah, that's the damage. very safe option. You yes. can also make someone really scared of using forward forward frame if you hella punish him. Mm -hmm. If you launch him in the back and something like that, and play players will stop using this move if yes. you know how to punish it. But this won't make me scared, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, I see. I know what you mean. Alright, Frank Ocean, good night. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to the chat a little bit. And uh, okay, um, so that would be his hop kick covered. A really important yeah. move for LA, I think. Yeah, yeah. Never Especially try online. To step this <laughs> Never try to step this move. Never. This move has incredible range and uh, good tracking. Both so, sides. Um, I mean, Lily can step it to the left, ah. but um, it has a really good tracking. So don't try it. I see. So yeah. Like I mean, it's a it's a forward forward move, so. It yeah. does have the tracking. All right. So. Um, and uh, what about the rest of his punishers? Like ten frames. Right. Well, we we talked about ten frames already. Yeah. Um, he has another ten frames for a little bit more damage, but the mix-up situation afterwards is worse. So this is uh, twenty-three damage. It's a little bit more, but mm -hmm. um, I won. always prefer the mix-up because you can get a lot of damage with snack two two. Yes. Okay, so uh, is this safe on block? Yeah, it is uh, safe on block, I believe. Um, minus 8 or minus 7, something like that. Hmm. And it's high mid, and the second hit uh, tracks very well to Lay's left, his weak side. I see. Oh, move. left side is his weak side, so. Yeah. But you wanna seven. step Lay? Uh, step to his weak side, his left side. Yeah. And um, it's also his 12 frames punisher if you hold forward, forward to one. It's one damage point more and it has more range. Oh, I see. So you can use this for uh, a 12 frames punisher, but as I said, I believe, I believe his 1-1 one -one string is even better for things that are minus 12 because the mix-up situation is... It's much better. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there is the low. <laughs> And, uh, and the hit confirmable mid. And also, if you like to party, you can also do snake free afterwards. If you think that someone will contest the plus frames with jabs or something, you can go for a big launch. Ah, okay. And uh, how do you punish that move? Um, I punish it with uh, down 4 4. I don't know, ladies punish or something. So you can float it for sure. Okay, so this is just like a character specific punish. Yes. You would have very to specific. you would have to research and practice more what punisher does your character have. Alright, I will do that with Lily. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I, I think that Lily doesn't get anything out of it. Maybe mm. a quick go or something. Because, yeah, something um, like that. This dance here is yes? very evasive. Obviously. Um, yeah. So this one. After Snake Free. This is his most evasive grounded stance. 
He got other grounded senses as well, and yeah. um, these senses aren't evasive at all. Sometimes. Um, so the uh, hitbox hit. on this one, where he's on his uh, in his stomach, yeah. is more evasive. Okay. Right. right. <laughs> and that's one big point um, against lane. So especially late players in lower ranks tend to use a lot of grounded stances, a lot of play mm -hmm. that, and play that is not good. So, so this is I, not a good stance for him. It's not a good stance. Of course, he got um, he can evade stuff and he can launch you with lows, but um, it is not very evasive, and uh, the and lows are kind of a commitment because everything is launch punishable. The range doesn't seem amazing either. Right, and that that's another point. So if lays on his belly, he mm -hmm. got more range on his lows. Like All right, so you can just backdash and duck. And you will pretty much beat all of his options. Yes, right. So especially on this stance, which is the most evasive one, mm -hmm. he got um, one low that has extremely good range. This one. And it does he have a mid in that stance with uh, the yes, same range? Right. Yes, the mid has good range as well. Okay, so when he's on his stomach, he has a better low mid mix up. But when he's on his back, only his lows will reach. If you yes, backdash. Right. Okay. So Great. on his back, he really got very bad range. Mhm. Mm Interesting. Yeah. As soon as um, as soon as lays on his uh, back, just get out of the danger zone and duck. Yes. That's all. Great. But in the first place, try to interrupt. If you see lay player on the ground, always interrupt with a generic downforce or something. Just like Eddie and his relaxed stance. Same yes. situation. Just interrupt. Yes. And uh, what about the rest of his furniture? Does he have anything for 13? Yes, for 13 frames he has a down forward 1 1. And imagine having a 13 frames punisher that mm -hmm. deals 25 damage. Yeah, that's, that's. So bullshit. That's. Yeah, that's not really good. So even for 13 frames, I use 1 1. 19 damage for 13 frames punish. And a mix up. And he doesn't yeah. get anything after down forward 1 1, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, I believe he's only plus 2 after this ah. one. And minus 9 on block. And does he so, have um, a, a mid mix up after his down forward yeah. 1? 1 1 1. <laughs> oh, okay. Fight. But it's not a good string. So. You have to be careful with ducking the second hit because if you're too slow with the while standing punish. Um, the third hit, um, the third hit hits you. All right. So if you see a lay player doing down forward one one, just duck and do something quick like a wall stunning four yeah. for a punish. Okay. All right. And for um, fourteen <laughs> frames, he has something good. He has free free. And God bless Haradam. Please, God bless Haradam. Let's pray for a moment. So. <laughs> Are you telling yes. me this is natural on hit? Yes, <laughs> hold forward. Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh, hold forward one time. Look at the damage. <laughs> oh my this God. is yeah. This is natural. Hold. Oh, yeah. Nice damage. And and he is plus and four. I'm and dead. he has a back turn mix up afterwards. All right. So after 14 frame punisher plus four, big chunk of damage and the back turn mix up. And oh, what yeah. does he get after uh, the back turn stance for a mix up? Um. Yeah. The mix up isn't really good because. Um, it has some pushback, and if you just backdash and duck, um, you pretty much evade everything. So he has um, back right. turn four, backdash and duck. But it isn't really rewarding, mm -hmm. and you have back turn down four. And this is kind of a commitment because if it is on, um, if it's not a clean hit, it's not a launch. And how and fast is that low? It's uh, 20 frames fast, I believe. So yeah, I still have enough time to backdash on that kind of. Yeah, I think so. Also, yeah, sure. Um, just hold forward and backdash mm -hmm. and duck. Yep, I had enough time to backdash and duck. And you should be also able to block the mid. If yes, you and duck. because the mid is much faster than the low. So right. with a backdash duck, I'm covering both options, right. and therefore there is no mix up. Right. See, yeah. It feels to me like Lei can be beaten, especially this basic stuff, with just co the correct movement. Yeah, and 
One thing that uh, players have to understand that don't know Lei is um, that Lei is pretty fair, to be honest. So mm -hmm. let me explain this. Um, if you know a geese matchup in and out, you still lose because geese is fucking overpowered. Yeah. But if you know a Lei matchup in and out, it's so much fun fighting Lei. You lose. And I can tell because um, as I have a YouTube channel on Lei only, I get a lot of fighting requests of Lei players. So uh -huh. I do Lei mirrors all day long. And it's one of the most enjoyable matchups I can only do. So it's really good. Oh yeah, by the way, he has a YouTube channel with great Lei stuff. Lay content, so you should check him out if you're interested in that chat. Get ready for the next battle, battle. Um, all right. So, so yeah, um, I, 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 defense, of course, as we're talking about punish, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we continue? Yeah. Yeah, he has um, a really good down forward two, and mm. this is one of the strongest points of Lay. His down forward two has really good tracking. Oh damn! Does it have good range? Yeah, it's, it, it's quite as it's quite okay for a lay. It's okay because lay has really piece? bad range overall. Mm, I see. Let me see. So yeah, I try to jab and do down forward two afterwards, and I'll try I'll try to step it. Yeah. Again. So this has really good tracking. Um, maybe sidewalk, yeah? Yeah. Can beat but it with it, a sidewalk. It tracks to his weak side, and that's a really good point. For ah, him. yeah, that's really important. And it, is it safe? It's safe, yeah. Okay, so he has a safe launcher that tracks to his weak side. That's really good for him. And for uh, 16 frames, and that's one move that uh, lower rank lays, likes, uh, likes to abuse. Yes. Uh, forward 3 1. Oh yeah. Yeah. You here you just have to duck the second hit and you're yeah. and you're done. And again, it's the same like um down forward one one one. Mm -hmm. You have to be very quick with ducking the second hit because if you're not quick enough, you get clipped by the third hit. And the third hit is punishable too, isn't it? Yeah, it's minus twelve. Okay, so if you fail to duck the second hit and you get and you block the third, just punish it. But you should really watch out for forward 3-1, because um, if you're getting in that situation that you didn't duck the second hit, yeah. Lay has a pretty strong mix-up between down back 4-4, four four, and mm. you can also delay the third hit. Yes, I can see why you don't want to block the second hit. <laughs> yeah, you really need to duck the second hit, that's important. Alright, um, does he have any, any punishers for uh, range and stuff? Like a, yeah, a for, death fist. Oh yeah, but that's, that's difficult. That's punch, difficult. Yeah. You need to be um, very precise to land this as a whiff punish. In the I open. see. Because it's uh, forward forward and yeah. Yeah. It itself. And uh, how about his full crouch punishment? Um, his Is it any good? It's very well, unique I mean, because... Well, I mean lost, I mean. <laughs> yes, uh, while standing free. That's 10 frames fast and good chunk of damage. Oh! So yes, uh, 10 frames first was standing Punisher. Oh, this is important versus Lily, because her back turn launcher, the mid, back turn 1 plus 2, is minus 10 and forces crouch. Oh, really? So, Good yeah, point. so you, you <laughs> have to punish that with Lei. Uh, right. Other characters, most characters can just get a duck jab, but Lei, he's gonna get a great chunk of damage with while standing 3. Yeah. It's the same with Brian's forward forward 4. Um, mm. Lei can punish it with while standing 3. Yes, yes. That's great, and um, so he doesn't even need a wall standing for. Uh, but, but it has bad range because um, yeah, if something hits on uh, tip range, mm -hmm. um, sometimes wall standing three whiffs, and that's a really bad thing. It's inconsistent. Yeah, yeah, it's not amazing. It has really does bad it, range. Does it have good boss frames? I imagine it oh, does. Hell no, hell no. No. It's minus six on hit, I believe. It's minus on hit. Minus on hit. Like, yeah. Okay. And it's minus 15 on block, so you can launch punish it. Okay, so if you ever block this from him, please launch punish it. I didn't know, this looks safe to me. But it, it looks nearly the same as a generic while standing form, so yeah. it's really awkward to punish. Because you think it's a while standing form, but it's uh, launch punishable. I see. 
And uh, what about the rest of his while standing punishment? Yeah, then he got um, while standing 4 for um, um, 11 frames, I believe. Or 12 frames, mm -hmm. I don't even know. <laughs> I always range. use while standing 3. I always use while standing 3 because it has much more damage. And the range on while standing 4 doesn't seem amazing either. Yeah, it's not good as well. And uh, okay, and the rest? Like while standing um, yeah. 2. That's for 14 frames. But mm -hmm. it's only two damage points more than this one. Uh -huh. So it's just a little bit damage more. For 15 frames, he has Hopkick. And um, for 16 frames, he has Wasteland 3 plus 4. And Wasteland 3 plus 4 is a really good move because um, nobody punishes it. But it's uh, actually launch punishable on block. Okay. Does it go to a stance to make it safer? Or can no. it not go to any stance? Okay. No mix up. So, yeah, no mix up here. Just launch but it. it has really good range. Also, Konkon, welcome! Alright! I didn't know his full crouch punish. I mean, while summoning punishment, is it? It's, it's yeah, pretty good. This one, uh, this one is really important. Yes. Punish, uh, while standing 3 plus 4. Yeah. Okay, I, I know what to practice now. <laughs> Alright. And um, what about key moves from neutral? Um. Yeah, his top 10 moves, maybe? Yeah, something so like that. His number one move, of course, is Razor Rush. Yeah, we all know that one. How many hits does it even have? I, I never counted it. Five. It's uh, four punches and one kick in the end. Okay. And the mid kick is safe and it walls blitz. So if a lay player puts you to the wall and punches your belly, don't duck. Because yeah. it's safe and the walls blitz. So, yeah, so don't duck after Razor Rush at the wall. Great step. And in the open, if Lei does the uh, low, that's um, again minus on hit and hella launch punishable. That's minus 17. Ah. So you can do West Daniel 3 plus 4. Yep. Just did it there. But it's a counter hit launcher. I uh, see. And please block. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, okay, you parried it. Nice. <laughs> However, it's a counter launcher, and I'll take care of that. Okay, yeah, so uh, don't press buttons after Razor Rush, I guess. Yeah, so if a late player always does uh, this into Tiger, um, mm -hmm. just be patient, just be patient. Watch out for the stance position and interrupt at this uh, exact timing. Yeah, we already went through Tiger stance. Yeah. Don't let him move in Tiger stance. <laughs> yeah, don't let him swing his hands. Yeah. It's way then. Um, yeah. So, do you want to talk about some anti razor rush or should we continue with top 10? Uh, yeah, I think we should talk about anti razor rush because it's an important move. Yeah, that's very important. So, razor rush is his absolute key move and I use razor rush a lot. You do, um, yes. <laughs> yeah, I spam razor rush. And you don't see that um, from lower rank plays. So they tend to party and they don't use effective Razor Rush because Razor Rush has bad frames. Mm -hmm. And in lower ranks, people tend to uh, take their turn as soon as they see some uh, sort of momentum coming. So if a late player steps a little bit, they interrupt. And uh, that's a natural thing and you should do that also. Okay. So you should always try to interrupt on block or on hit. It doesn't matter. So if all these punches hit, and Lei goes into Taigam, he still can't do shit if you interrupt. Ah, I see. It's terrible frames. Okay, that's good to know. I never knew how to deal with Razor Rush. It sounded all too confusing. And he can delay the hits as well, am I right? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's talk about that later. Let's okay. um, just talk about Razor Rush for the Sure, sure. So, um, so Lei can do Snake after one punch and Dragon after two punches. Uh -huh. And Dragon is very dangerous, because if you are just a little bit too late if, um, by interrupting Dragon, you get um, a counter hit. Uh -huh. Dragon is really fast and has better frames than the rest of the stances. So his Dragon stance might be his best stance? Um, I would say it's his best stance out of Razor Rush. It's I see. his best option there. So he goes to that stance after two hits only, right? Yeah, very important. And the first two hits are also a natural combo. Mm, so Dragon is really dangerous out of Razor Rush. 
And that's the one I always prefer in Razor Rush. Uh huh. So yeah, we should always count the hits on Razor Rush, right? And then we, that way we could predict the stance that yeah, he's it, going to use. If Lay does only one or two hits, mm -hmm. um, you should interrupt the stance with a fast move, like um, a down jab or a generic down four. Because these stances have fast moves. Anybody yeah. else want a piece? And it's harder to interrupt. But if he does three punches or four punches or even five, the frames are getting worse. I see. So after two punches, I would always do down jab or generic down four or something like that. Because uh -huh. if you're just a little bit um, too late, you instantly get the counter hit. So try a down forward one. Or maybe with a slightly delay. And you see. Yeah, a new counter hit. And, and most likely the down forward one will be delayed because the player needs to visually to, confirm to that. A bit, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So, especially really online, dangerous. this um, can do a lot of damage. Yeah. Wow, the damage. It's all guaranteed. It's over 60 damage on Wall Splat. 60 damage plus the Wall Splat. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to get hit by that. <laughs> Let's see the damage, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, it has to hit uh, standing. Oh my. You yeah. Don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> So interrupt with a down jab or a generic down fall to m not make that happen because um, this move here is a high and uh -huh. the down jab will of course evade the high. Yeah, of course, of course. Alright. Also, Devil Oscar, yes, this will be uploaded to YouTube. And Potato Ash is saying that Lei in general has crappy range. Yeah, he has a really bad range. So for his generic jabs, he has really T-Rex arms. And his down forward one uh, is maybe one of the worst in the game. It's minus four on block. It's, um, I believe, plus four on hit. Let me Only test something. something. Let seven. me. I don't know. Oh, I yeah. see. Um, I wanted to test if you can backdash the down forward one after one jab. Because you can do that with Lily's down forward one. So this yes. is for my own research. <laughs> Let's try. Uh, wait. Um, okay. Yeah, no. let's try it in no. the open. Mm. Hmm. I, don't, I don't think so. And how about the double down forward one? It's um, the double down forward one is minus nine on hit uh, on block. I mean. Ah, yeah. So yeah, that doesn't really so, make sense. So you don't even need to duck it because uh, my turn is over after this on block. So yes. it's not even important to duck. Because That's not a good downboard one. <laughs> it's trash. So, <laughs> But Lei has a bootleg downboard one. He has a um, forward neutral one. This is the first hit of Razor Rush. And um, this is considered as Lei's downboard one, you can say. Is, am I doing it correctly? Forward neutral one. Not forward forward neutral. Oh. I yes, see, yes. So, you can say this is his down forward one. Is it the same range. speed? No, it's uh, slower. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I believe that um, the move itself is 12 frames fast, but um, the forward neutral is yeah, it makes it slower. something about 2 frames. So, I think the fastest way you can pull this out is 14 frames or something. Okay, so basically he has like a bootleg 14 frame down forward one. Yeah, you can say that. Alright. And it has some special properties. If you duck and it hits you, I have something like um, 10 frames fast guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So, duck. Please duck. Oh, yeah. This is guaranteed. Yes, it is guaranteed. I'm holding back. So, yeah, hmm. this is one situation uh, you have to remember at the wall. If you duck at the wall, which is um, not bad against play at all, then take care of forward neutral one. Because he has guaranteed follow up. This is really deep. <laughs> Alright. Um, is there anything else we should know about Razor Rush? Um, so, you asked about delays. And yeah, that's the point where it's, uh, it gets tricky. So, when I start working with uh, delays, 
and uh, start working without stances. So using Razor Rush and finish the string or just two hits and don't go into the stance. That's really confusing. Yeah, yeah. That's the point where I am able to um, create a different mindset on you. Mm -hmm. So, for example, your mindset at the beginning of the round is to interrupt stances. You yes. always want to interrupt the stance as soon as you see Lei doing something upward. Yes. And I can change that mindset to you to try to step it. So if I do highly delayed punches, you can uh, try to step it. it ah, I see. It works pretty fine. Yes. Yeah, this way. But you and have to be really quick about the step, it seems. Yeah. But you can also try to punch parry. If I start delaying the punches, uh, Lay's punch parry mm -hmm. is forward 3 plus 4, it's drunken stance. Okay. And if I delay the punches, you can punch parry the hits. Yeah, like I see. So if, you have, if you have a punch parry, guys, use it. <laughs> yeah, but that's the point uh, where stances start working again. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I yeah. create a different mindset on you to start trying to step Razor Rush and trying to um, punch parry Razor Rush. But uh -huh. um, then I suddenly use stances again. So let's say you're trying to um, parry the um, fourth hit, the last one. Okay. And I'm going into Tiger then, or Panther, and um, you get punished for trying to parry it. So yeah, the mix-up is basically maybe we could say between a parry or a step and uh, not pressing anything. Yeah. Am I correct? Exactly. <laughs> okay. So. You get mixed up because your mindset at the beginning of the round is to interrupt stances. Mm. But I give you more tasks, like um, trying to step, trying to parry. I see, yes. Alright! Um, and any other moves we should know about? Like, when it of comes course. to his best moves? It does. <laughs> so, that was only Razor Rush. Yes. <laughs> There are nine more. Um, number two is down back four four. Down and back four four. That's one four. thing that's really good about that. Right. So yeah. This, oh yeah. <laughs> I know this move. Yeah, it's um, it's so dangerous. So. How fast is this? It's Twenty frames fast, and it becomes a launcher maybe in season three. Basically so, on, unseeable. On a clean hit. You can go into Drunken and maybe spin after afterwards with his new mm -hmm. move in Season 3. So on Clean Hit it becomes Launcher maybe. Oh my god. Yeah, season 3 scary. late is gonna be scary. But in Tech and Tech Tournament 2, this year was a bound. So he was able yeah. to launch afterwards in Tech and Tech Tournament 2. Yes, I remember, I think. And now he gets his uh, launch back maybe. Maybe a tailspin move? Um, he gets a move, um, I believe, Drunken 1 2. 3 1, I mean. 3 1. Or Drunken 3 1 plus 2. One of uh, those notations, maybe. And mm -hmm. if he's able to spin afterwards with standing 3, for example, this would be a 20 frames fast, unseeable low launcher with like 60 damage or something. Yeah, as Jin Kazama just said in the chat, basically a health sweep. Yeah, it's a health sweep, but just strong on the Oh yeah, so that's lovely. This will be very, very <laughs> scary, and this will put lay some tears up, maybe. I believe that 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 will be the case. Yes. Yeah, because Namcops love lay. They do. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, I it's think... one of the most unique characters in the game for sure. Yeah, if you remember Combo Breaker, Combo Breaker was awesome. I mean, lay players did a hella good job there. I'll have to rewatch Combo Breaker for some lay gameplay. All right, so um, number two was down back four four. Yes. And also, uh, can I can I just say something? I see yeah. a lot of lay players do something like a down a down three afterwards or yeah, some kind four, of low. So if you don't stand up, if you don't tech roll after down back 4-4 and hit, uh, it's guaranteed. Like this. Ah, so you have to tech roll to um, avoid the guaranteed damage. Have... This is not a strong mix-up. Because if you tech roll, there are other mix-ups for lane. I see. So if you tech roll this, I can dash up in your face and go for another 50-50. Ah, like yeah. Sidestep 4, 
which is safe and sidesteps the down back for a This is a no mix up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's basically eat another mix up or the guaranteed damage. Okay. Yeah, right. But um, this is kind of a commitment doing down 4 4 after down back 4 4. Uh -huh. Because if you tech roll, um, I think it's punishable. Oh. Um, can you do that one time? So down back 4 4 and down 4 4. Ah, yes. It's quite, quite punishable, so it's kind of a commitment. I see. Nice trick, nice trick. I'm gonna There's have to use that. Mix up I like to use. So. If you tech roll after this move, Lei has um, one setup with um, his tornado kicks. Uh -huh. I'll show you. Oh, okay, show me. I'll show you. So if you tech roll, you can see it's some kind of off axis uh, thing. And um, now I can use the weird situation to launch you with a low. Oh, yeah. That's a funny <laughs> setup. It this sounds like Shao Yu. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, to be honest. It is, yeah. Um, yeah, um, any other? Oh, the rest of the moves. Uh, number three, in my opinion, and I think that many late players disagree with this one. Uh, number three is down four. And you think like, why? This move is like uh, 10 damage. This um, is plus minus zero on hit, so it must be bad. But it isn't. Because um, this is one of Lay's main moves to get a read on his opponent. Uh-huh. Because um, it's plus minus zero on hit, the so opponent can contest it. You can yeah. always try to contest it with jabs, for example. And now try to do jabs afterwards, after I hit you with down four. Okay. Back. Oh, yeah. So, it's so if you try always... to retaliate, you can eat a launcher. That's one thing. And another thing is, if you try to one jab afterwards, try a one jab. Um, okay. I can always try to get a read on my opponent. Or if you try to um, down jab because you are scared of snake afterwards, try to down jab afterwards. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, down jab is one, uh, down one. Yeah, down one. So, this is one of his main tools to get a read on his opponent. And you really gotta be annoying with down four. It's 12 frames fast and you can spam it. Like, I mean, it's really good. It's a really good move. It's almost like um, a generic down four, which is also 12 frames fast. Yeah, right. But generic down fours are minus one hit. And yeah, they, they crush highs. Well, Lace doesn't crush high, but at least it's neutral on hit. And that's very important. And it has a stance transition afterwards. So uh, we had the situation that you wanted to try um, to interrupt with jabs. Yes. And if you want to try um, a down forward one, for example, I can counter hit you in snake. We can try that. And, okay. Um, that's a lot of damage. You can try. So. Yeah. Round one. So try to interrupt with down forward one now. Oh yeah. And that's a lot of damage. And um, this is a situation you don't want to have on hit. Because Lays afterwards in Panther and he can really rush you down. Yeah, Panther stance also seems like a pretty strong stance. Yeah, let's watch the whole thing. Try to interrupt with down forward one again. Alright. Okay, I was to go. So, you don't want this. This is pure rushdown. This is really, yeah, for pure rushdown. And that move you did there at the end, I I always get hit by that and I'm not sure why. <laughs> yeah. It's is fast. it not? It's, it's super fast. It's uh, 12 frames fast and um, in Panther, Lei can really uh, chase you down. So, let's uh, have some distance here. Stop walking. <laughs> so. Look at this. The movement is insanely, insanely uh, fast. It's insanely fast, yeah. And it's also a mix-up between um, the mid. And it's also a high crush. Um, yeah, the low is a high crush. This one crushes high. Uh -huh. And the stance in general always crushes high. Yeah. So if you try to jab now, it uh, will whip. Even electrics whip, so it's a real high crush. Yeah, it's a true high crush. Mm, good to know. Alright, his um, 
Number four is Tiger. I would call the whole stance the top move because Tiger is just super good. Yeah. So, yeah. The movements and the options. The movement is crazy, absolutely crazy. If you know how to move this way, it's super broken. And what is this move, forward four, on block? Or um, hit? Forward four? What does it do? Yeah. It's a big oh. ass counter at launcher. So if somebody tries to jab, and you hit him with a uh, counter at um, forward four, which crushes uh, jabs, then you get a lot of damage for a counter at. Ah, I see. It crushes jabs. Yeah. Um, we can do down forward one. Um, yes. Down forward one on block, and then jab. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, do that. Or on block, I'd say. <laughs> do again. Yes, true high crush. Yeah. So, um, can you hold forward? So, this is a safe counter launcher for a lot of damage. And what are the frames? Is it like minus 9 or neutral? So, um, forward 4 itself is, I believe, minus 12 from block. Ah. So, this move is minus 12, right? Yes. But, but this move here, uh, forward 4 2 is plus minus zero on block and that's awesome for uh, such a big counter launcher that really is awesome yeah but you can parry the second hit if you do it again can you step uh, it I think, no i think they can't parry the second hit mm. it's parry is too slow too slow maybe yeah, it's too slow. But, okay um, other characters can parry the second hit i wonder if lily could matterhorn under it because it seems like lily yeah, could matter under it. I'll try it later on. Um, some characters like Eddie, for example, they can just walk out of uh, the move. It's really awkward. So if you do, um, as a late player, this move against Eddie, uh -huh. he just needs to hold back to walk back, and the second hit just whiffs. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe that will be the case with Zafina too, because also her backdash is one of the best in the game. In tag two, mm, at least. I don't hope so. <laughs> I'm not a Safina fan. Alright. <laughs> I will play Safina. I like her. Um, what about the rest of his moves? His number 5 is forward forward 3, in my opinion. So, we already talked about this move. Yeah. It has a lot of range. It sometimes, it often catches sidesteps. And yeah, sometimes Great punisher. it's because people miss the punish. Yeah. Great Punisher, great tracking, has some mix-ups involved, but it's kind of risky. It's kind of risky, it's, um, but the risk-reward is sometimes in your favor as a light player. Sometimes. Yeah. The opponent isn't aware of the punish. Keyword, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Okay, um, and the rest? Number six, in my opinion, is Wolf Rush. This is uh, forward neutral four, this move here. So, after two hits, you can go in Tiger, and yeah, forward 4-1, four, yeah. Ah, yeah. And if you hold forward, you can go into Tiger. So, he has a lot of pokes that go to stances, it seems. Mm, only he has uh, really good pokes to go into stances, so these are his top moves also. I see. Yeah, I, I really like this move, because... Um, you gotta be fast to interrupt this one on hit if uh, Lei goes into Tiger. So if this, if these two hits um, connect, yeah. you really gotta be fast with interrupt Tiger mm. because the frames aren't so bad. Sorry. No problem. And later you can go into Dragon, and this is one of uh, Lei's better transitions. Mm -hmm. so what you see a lot of late players is um, this year, this endless chain, you know? Yeah, the strings, they just never end. <laughs> yeah. And this is especially dangerous at the wall. So if your back is against the wall and the late player starts spamming this, um, you really have to take care to not get countered um, by the string. Because, as you remember, if you hold forward, just hold forward, um, if this hits, you're dead. Yes. So, you really gotta be careful with Wolf Rush this thing. Wolf what I recommend rush. you to do is down jab. Just okay. down one. So, at the end of the string, 
you just duck, and um, if the low isn't coming out, you just don't tap. Okay. Just if the low isn't coming out. Like this? Yeah, like this. Because if I do another one, you just interrupt. I have I no see. chance to uh, continue. See? Yeah, I crushed the high with a with a, with a duck jab. This is getting complicated, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it's getting right, really complicated. We gotta keep it short. Let's just continue. So, number All seven right. is back 3 plus 4. I would say. Mm. This move is, um, is somewhat evasive, so you can evade jabs with um, back 3 plus 4 and launch them with down, back and down form. Mm. But, he also, but he also could get hit in the back. Yeah. Exactly. But if you have a good read, for example after down 4 again, it's uh, plus minus 0, and you think your opponent will jab afterwards, uh -huh. you can try to evade the jab and then launch. Okay. Somewhat risky, but um, yeah, this back turn is really good. And I might be the only person who can understand that um, you can parry this now. You couldn't parry this in tag 2. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it, uh, it got nerfed, and I can understand that, to be honest. Because his back turn is really good. I mean, I remember low rank play players spamming this forever. Right. So I can really understand that. Yeah. Um, Devil Oscar is asking how minus was that jump kick. Oh, you mean the hop kick? Oh, we talked about that one already. Yeah, he gets like a mix up. Uh, if he gets a mix up. Kick, the up forward 3. The, the up forward 3? Okay. Yeah, it's uh, the crane hop kick, I think. Oh, yeah, he's asking about up forward 3. So, up forward 3 is, is basically safe. It's oh. um, a hop kick you can just throw out, and if it's a counter hit, um, you get a full launch, which is pretty strong. But, um,. There is a small trick you can use against, uh, against that move. And uh, so, let me just ask, how fast is this? Because it seems pretty 16 fast. Frames. Yeah, 16 okay. frames fast. But this move here, uh, up forward frame, has a terrible, terrible hitbox. It goes over many lows. So, for example, Armor King's down back frame. If Armor King does uh, down back frame, this goes just over the complete correct down. It doesn't even hit Armor King. So, it oh. has a terrible hitbox. I and see. it's super linear. It's super easy to step. If you do a jab into up forward frame, I can step to any direction. It's super linear. I see. But um, anyway, so you need to cancel the stance to make it safe. So you do up forward frame and down back and hold back afterwards. And you can block immediately. Oh, wait. Wait. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll try so. To grab you afterwards. See? It's yeah, safe. yeah, it's safe if you cancel the stance. So you just hold down back and then back. Yeah, but I told you there's one trick you can use. Uh -huh. So if a late player does uh, the, the cancel and holds back to block highs and mids, you can try to hit a low. Do that, uh, do that again and try to block the low. As oh, you can okay. See, you, can, you can't block it anymore. Yeah, I cannot block the low. That's that's interesting. I yeah. can block the block the jabs, but not block low. Hmm. But um, here's an, another trick. Yeah, LA is tricky. You mm -hmm. can just stay in the stance. Stay in the stance. Do up forward three and just stay there and do nothing. Ah, that's an auto lottery. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay. And that's um, maybe one thing that only happens in lay mirrors, because uh, lay players um, often know that and. Um, after up forward frame, they just stay in the stance sometimes. And what That's do really cool. you? And what That's do you? Really cool. Oh yeah. Um, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, I just wanted to ask, what do you, players who don't know the matchup usually do? They just mash, I imagine. Like um, some players try to get a punish for a hop kick, and ah, that yeah. can be deadly. For example, if you do up forward three against Gigas, and his ten frames punish is launch punishable and he's throwing out 1-2, and it goes on block, you can launch Gigas for trying to punish you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, um, yeah. 
not Some not something he not not something that wants to happen that he wants to happen. Yeah, exactly. And also, uh, one thing on else that. is um, some late players do up forward three into a follow up, like um, train one plus two, because it's really fast and you gotta be quick with interrupting. Hmm. Uh -huh, um, how many frames do you have to interrupt this? I think you have enough space. You can you can do jabs. Um, you gotta be fast with um, mids, so don't forward one. Needs to be on point. If it's a slightly delayed, you get hit. So I see. I think you should do jabs in that case. Round three. Fight. Okay, and uh... and the rest. Um, back two. Back two is really good in Tekken Seven. And so back. Back two has this follow up here. Oh yeah, that's it's a high. Uh, is it hit confirmable? Um, some kind of. You need to be on point. So sometimes if you throw this move out and you see someone doing a jab animation and mm -hmm. you crush it with back two, you can some kind of hit confirm it because yeah. um, you see some someone doing something and then hit confirm the second third. Sort of, yeah, hit confirmable. Yeah. And um. Can you punish it on block? I guess not, right? You have to duck it. Block, uh, you have to duck it. Yeah, okay. But there's uh, one situation you don't want to have. Um, it's super delayed. Though. It's, you can uh, delay it the whole time. Yeah. And if you try to launch punish it too early because you expect the high, you get countered launch. Like ah, this. yes. Delay so, mix-ups are real. Yeah. You really have to um, be patient with back to and that's the point where mix-ups come to play. So Lei can go into Dragon after back two by holding forward. And uh -huh. this is something that works against experienced players because they expect the high and they um, respect it, so you can go into Dragon. Yes. And, and I uh, think that's a really good thing in Tekken 7. And what does he have from the Dragon stance? Or what, what do you call this stance? Yeah, it's Dragon, and um, yeah. in Dragon and Snake, Lei has no dangerous lows. So, as I told you before, uh, Snake has Snake 4, and the move is Trash, and Dragon has Dragon uh, 3, and this move is even more Trash. Oh. So, look at the damage. It's yeah. nothing. Yeah, and very underwhelming. More. It's launch punishable. It's a uh, hop kick. Oh, um, it's sorry. the usual hop kick, up forward 4. It should be launch punishable, maybe you are... Oh, it whiffed. Oh, it's lay, it's lay. This hop kick has no range, okay. Yeah, but basically that's... it should be launch punishable. <laughs> that's something new to me, but it's basically launch punishable, yeah. Okay. <laughs> as I can see, lay can't launch it. Okay, that's very interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> see, we're learning something new every day. But, um, to be honest, this is a move, um, late players don't use it at all, because it's just trash. It's super minus on, on hit, uh, on block, mm -hmm. and non it's not even rewarding. No, yeah, no reward. Yeah. Bad move. You can go into crane afterwards for a non-existing non -existing mix up. If this was you, this would be minus 12 on block in the counter hit launcher. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else does he have from the stance? Uh, from Dragon. So, yeah. as I said, he has no dangerous low, but um, he can go into play that by um, pressing down 3 plus 4. Right. And he has a throw, his um, Dragon throw, mm -hmm. um, by pressing 1. And you can cancel the throw by holding back. That's pretty funny. Oh. So, if you hold back, the throw gets cancelled. <laughs> nice. The, the, the funny thing is, um, it's a one break, so you have to press one for breaking the throw. Okay. Right. And if you try to press one to break the throw, and I cancel the the throw and uh -huh. do something else instead, you get counter at launch. Yeah. Should we try it? Yeah. Okay, let's um, go. Sorry. See? Oh yeah. It was uh, it was right. Yo, yeah, yeah, that worked out. So that's really fun. <laughs> So if you try to break the throne, you get counter launch. <laughs> 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 
that's really funny, but it works um, not often. All right, and I, I'd like to see the throw animation. All right. Oh, sorry. It looks funny. Does it have... Mm, yeah, probably doesn't have good Okizemi. No Oki. Okay. No Oki. Okay. The only throw with good Okizemi is uh, this one. I can yeah. use almost any free afterwards. Is it guaranteed? It looks guaranteed. No, it isn't guaranteed. You can mm. just um, stand up with uh, holding block. up or just uh, tech roll. Still, tech. still, yeah. it's, it's decent. It's pretty good, yeah. If somebody tries to contest this throw with a get up kick, they get uh, hit by West Ending 3. You lose. Mm -hmm. Well, there are a lot of more points on my list. <laughs> All right, just this is taking just, long. Yeah, let let's let's go on. Let's continue. Um, so my next point would be stances. I'm talking about stances, which stance um has which properties, like um what you're doing with snake, for example, or what are you doing with panther? How many stances does mm -hmm. it even have? Um. I think 14 or something. Oh, 14. That's a lot of stances. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's true. Okay. Um, so which stance are we gonna tackle right now? Um, let's start with Snake. So Snake is um, made for pressure. It's a close range uh, stance. And um, lay players use it to get things started. Like if Snake 222 hits as a hit confirm, you can go into Panther. If Snake 1 to 1 hits, it's Panther, so you can use a Snake for um, setting pressure on your opponent and get things started. I see. And this is a stance with um, decent movement, it has okay movement. It's alright, yes. Like the forward movement is really good. And one thing lay players uh, do a lot is, um, for example, in, at the end of the round, um, stop moving to me. <laughs> okay. So, at the end of the round, they just do this. And they hope that the opponent runs into it, and it works. Every time. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, you just run into it, and you get hit, and the round is over. And what's it's the input? Funny. The input is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1. <laughs> just oh. spam 1. Um, out of snake. Oh, so but how, how do I do snake? Um, I only know snake edge. Just press 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4. Ah, oh, yeah. 3 plus 4. I right. see. And then 1 1. And you can hold forward afterwards and you stay in snake. And um, spam it all day. And it's safe, right? Yeah, it jails. Uh, so if the first hit goes on block, you can't duck anymore. Yeah. My god, that's really good. Yeah, it's, um, the best part of it is if the first hit is a counter hit, the whole thing is guaranteed. Fight. So, oh, okay. put forward, or, yeah. It's all guaranteed. Yeah, that's a good chunk of damage for a folk. But um, it's uh, pretty awkward, because if the second hit is a counter hit, or the third hit, um, it's not guaranteed anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a little bit hard to show right now. But if the second hit um, is a counter hit, as I said, nothing guaranteed. And that's awkward, because after the first hit on counter hit, everything is guaranteed. Yeah. And uh, does he have anything else from the stance? Yeah, Snake is a little bit... Um, I don't know, so it's not that... Um, it, it's not that good. So he has his big launch here. Uh -huh. But it's uh, super slow and... Um, you can only use it to evade highs, I believe. So, so it doesn't crush mids? No, I don't think so. Huh. That's not that so, good at all. I only use Snake 3 when I have a really good read. And the combo afterwards is really hard to do. This is really hard. I see. Hmm. Because um, you have to get up and do a West Ending 4 to um, float afterwards. That's um, really a timing thing. Okay. And um, Dragon, as I said, uh, Dragon has some really good counter hits. And what's Again, the input the for Dragon? For Dragon you can do um, back 2 and hold forward. 
or 3 plus 4 and press 1. Okay, 3 plus 4 and 1. Yeah, right. And Drang as well as Snake, um, these are two stances to get things started. So, as you remember, out of Snake you can go into Phantom, for example. And Dragon is one of the only stances which can go into Tiger. Uh -huh. So you can sidestep left to go into Tiger, which is unique. You can only do that out of Dragon. And then you can and sidestep right to, to go back to yeah. the, the Dragon exactly. stance. I see. But um, these transitions used to be way more evasive. It isn't um, very evasive in Tekken 7. Yeah, it doesn't seem evasive at all. Maybe even smaller yeah. than the regular step. I don't know. Haven't tested it, but um, it's really uh, just try to step things out of Dragon is such a timing thing because you have just one try. You can just uh, you have just one try to sidestep something, and that needs to be timed very well. Uh huh. Yeah. So um, yeah, out of Dragon you can go into um, Tiger by sidestepping to the left, and you can also go into Tiger after Dragon Four One and holding forward. Dragon four one and forward. Uh... Yeah, right. Oh yeah. So you have uh, some options to go into Tiger out of Dragon. So again, uh, Dragon is a stance to get things started, and it's kind of weird because you have some gimmicks in it, like the throw cancel. You can go into play that. So Dragon is really versatile, I would say, except of um, no low. So you have um, the slow is non it's not existing. But then again, he has a throw, which might Fight. might give him some damage with the cancel and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. If someone tries to cancel it, uh, if uh, you try to cancel it and the opponent tries to break the throw, you can get a big counter launch. Yeah. So this kind of makes up for the lack of a low. Just kind of. I don't think so. I don't think so, to be honest, because mm. you never have the time to set up the throw. True. You never have the time. It's just too slow and uh, get interrupted before having the chance. Okay. And then there's Panther. So Panther is his uh, chasing down stance. Um, this is a really, really offensive stance because you can't block anymore. Oh, uh, sorry. You can't block mids anymore. If you go into Panther by uh, 3 plus 4 and then um, 2. 3 plus 4, two. okay. Um, just stay in stance and you can't block mid. I see, yeah. So you only use Panther for straight offense. It has no other sense to use it. Yeah, no, not even an auto low parry or throw yeah, reversal. It has an auto low parry, yeah. If you hold ah. forward. If you hold forward, you parry low. Oh, okay. But that's a super hard read because you can get launched anytime. Of course, yeah. So holding forward is very dangerous. Not really good. And if you just stand still in Panther, you block lows. Oh, okay. Well, but still, you'll get blown up by mid. Yeah, but uh, Panther is one stance that is uh, pretty effective against Azuka because Azuka tries to can can all the time. Yeah, If Black players fight against Azuka, she tries to can can your of stance. And if Azuka tries to can can lay in Panther, lay crouches under it because the first hit is low. Yeah, Locks it's a low. it's a low and high string. Yeah. It's time, the chat is saying it's time for me to rename myself to Looney Lay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna oh, become yeah. a Lay player oh, now. You're, you're a pro already. <laughs> I might even play Lay myself after this, just give him a try. It's awesome, it's just awesome. So the beginning might be hard, so Lay is definitely not easy for beginners, because uh, they tend to party, and party isn't good to play. So it's really hard to play Lay at the beginning, but at intermediate, it becomes uh, some kind of easier if you start um, having a clue of what works and what not. Yeah. And then it, it's getting hard again at higher ranks. Getting it's getting really hard to play lay. I feel like some of his stances are really just like situational. Very Especially, situational. yeah. Then so not something say, you want to rely on too much. This move here, I use this move um, one time a year maybe. So this move is so damn situational. And what funny is it? story. Uh, it's drunken. It's a different stance. This is drunken master, and you can do up back one plus two uh, to take a sip, and then press one at uh, some point to do um, yeah 
It's funny. Yeah. You can, you can press one and uh, do drunken one afterwards. And the one time I used it, it actually ended the round. So that's oh, really? Fun. Yeah. That's really funny. I use it uh, one time a year and it ended the round. That's so funny. <laughs> but anyways, um, so Panther is a chasing down stance and then Tiger, of course. Yes. Tiger is a boosted super cop lay mix up and godlike movement stance. So I forgot the input. Um, it's three plus four and three. Ah yeah. Wait. That's three plus snake. four three. Yes. Yeah, right. So that's one way to go into Tiger. But the fastest way is to whiff down forward one plus two and hold forward. That's one way to go into Tiger. I see. Yeah, what I like to do is I um, run away and go into Tiger and uh, force a 50-50. Yeah, Tiger is, um, has a really, really strong 50-50. One of the only stances that forces a 50-50 if you back dashes. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. And if, if you try to um, interrupt Tiger with a long-range move, for example, you can still make that whiff with good movement. I see. So if you have really good movement in Tiger, you can make nearly everything with. And then with punish with um, Tiger 4, which has great range. So Tiger is good at movement, it's uh, a good 50-50, it has a wall bounce, and it has a parry when holding forward, it blocks when holding back, and that... it has also a good whiff punish. That's a really strong stance if you ask me. As I said, boosted super cop, godlike movement. It's uh, Tiger is really good. It's amazing. Every time I see a lay player in the stands and I try to chase him down, and it just never works. So then there's uh, Crane. So okay. Crane is a bait stance, I would say, and it's very situational. You go into Crane after um, lays regular wall combo, just stay like that. And if I well. How did that get blocked? So if I do this new thing, I can go into Crane. Yes. And I think that the best way to deal with this situation, with your belly down and me and Crane, is to tap up and then do while standing four to interrupt Crane. Ah, yeah, like I it. see. That's one good situation. So that's a 50-50, but it isn't really strong. If I try anything, you can... I gotta be fast. Yes. I gotta be really fast. Hmm. And um, then there's uh, Phoenix. And uh, Phoenix might be his worst stance. His worst animal stance. Uh, mm. say. So Let me see which one. It's uh, this one. I never and see that stance. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's why I don't recognize it. It has really low mobility. You can't move. You can hold forward and go into uh, drunken. It's back 1 plus 4. Oh, wait. Back yeah, right. And I see. Um, out of that stance, um, I think the only thing I use out of that stance is uh, this move, yeah. Yeah, the power crush. How about yeah. is the. Oh, seems linear. It's minus 12. Minus 12, okay. And it seems steppable as well. Mm, I don't know. I just. Um, I use this power crush when someone attacks, so I don't use it um, in the open. I just I don't throw it out because it's unsafe and, yes. and stuff. So I never seen someone stepping it, to be honest. Mm, but anyways, but it, um, it, this dance is kind of funny. Yeah. So if you're going up against geese or something, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm moving backwards a little bit. And I'm moving to the right a little bit. So this stance here creates space between both players and steps a little bit to the right. Yes. So that's one really thing against um, that's one funny thing against 2D characters. You can uh, dodge fireballs with Phoenix and drink afterwards to um, get some health back. I see. That's really funny. If they start spamming fireballs, you can go into Phoenix and drink. <laughs> nice. Fight. And how do you drink? One plus two. One plus two. <laughs> uh, can this avoid Giza's quarters to come back to mix-ups? No. 
No, not that evasive. No, uh, that's not working. Okay. And uh, the last dance is drunken. And yeah, I can't explain drunken to be honest. I don't know, it just happens. And how is the input? Uh, forward 3 plus 4. Forward 3 plus 4. It just happens. If you are drunken, you are drunken and uh, things are happening. <laughs> I can't explain it for real. That's uh, that's the secret sense. You can just walk away. Y you never know what's gonna happen. No. You try to <laughs> run at me. Try to run me with a tackle. <laughs> evade the tra uh, tackle and. Uh, Is this on. the lay vortex? <laughs> the, what do you mean, lay vortex? Like, like you don't know me. what's gonna happen when when he goes into the stance. Yeah, kind of. So. Drunken is the, I don't know, stance, <laughs> in, my, yeah. in my opinion. But you have um, a pretty good wall game out of Drunken. So there's one throw, um, if you go to the wall. Yes. So if I hit this throw at the wall, I have a guaranteed follow-up, which is a one, a 1 plus 2 break. So usually, um, if the anchor is right, uh -huh. um, it was standing free. Oh yeah! Like that's that's even, really good. Was a combo. I think that's 53 damage or something. Ooh, from a throw. Lots yeah. of damage. Am I gonna play some matches soon? Uh, yeah, I would like to play some matches after after this anti lay guy. Uh, sorry, the chat was asking. <laughs> no problem. And uh, what else should we know about lay? So. I think that's all for the moment uh, about stances. Um, mm -hmm. But the throw out of Drunken, he does two throws. So if you duck the first one, make sure to duck the second one as well. I see. Or you just um, break the throw with one plus two. Okay, okay. Well. So, yeah, this catches a lot of people at the wall. They start ducking because uh, they see the stance, mm -hmm. and then they duck the first throw. And yeah, they. Then stand up and get hit. Yeah, they're, they're probably expecting a dangerous low from a stance, that's why they duck. I don't know. Round one. And one thing else, he has a um, uh, super good looking spinning headbutt out of Drunken, which is super evasive. So if Lei is in Drunken uh, at range 2 or 3, uh -huh. you might as well not run into him, because he can uh, spin in your belly and then launch. Oh, that's a launcher? Yeah, it's a launcher. Oh, let me see. Ah, oh, yeah. That's a clear stun right there. His combo damage seems alright as well. Yeah, he has great combo damage, in my opinion. Yeah. So, again, save, counter, launcher, and look at the damage. Oh, wait. Is, are the two spins that you did there at the end of the combo guaranteed? Yeah. They are guaranteed, but um, I think that Steve can get out of it. So Steve has uh, some kind of a special get up kick with I see. or something. And I once met um, MYK at a tournament in Germany, uh -huh. and he actually got out of it. Oh, uh, he so knows the, the, the matchup. He knows the stuff. He's fighting uh, Suiken for decades, and he knows all the stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Suiken is a he's a way player. Yeah, he's the lay god of America, so <laughs> yeah. MYK knows everything and he somehow got out of it, but I never left it, because it's, mm. um, that was a very special situation, and I was shocked. How did it feel to finally fight someone who knows the matchup perfectly? That happens all the time. Really? I, I don't know why you're saying that um, lay players are never fighting against someone who knows the matchup, because um, <laughs> if I go online and play lane, guess yeah. what happens? Everyone who doesn't know the matchup leaves after one match or True. in the loading screen. You got a good everyone point. Who's a pro at the matchup stays. And I'm only fighting people who know Lei. Ah, uh, yeah. That makes and sense. Yeah. And that's why it's uh, hard to rank up with Lei. It's actually very hard because you only fight pros. Yeah. True. And uh, does he have anything else? Uh, we could uh, talk about um, situational stuff, some of them. Oh yeah, sure, sure. So, um, tornado kicks for example. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, seems like plus frames, but um, if I don't lay on the ground afterwards, 
Um, it's just plus three or something. Hmm. Not not a huge know. advantage. Yeah. This is not a mix-up. So um, block, just block. Yeah. And this situation is not a mix-up. It seems no. like plus frames, and it seems like you have to guess now. But you can interrupt even on hit. So yeah, just do a mm, low and interrupt everything. Maybe uh, down four. Yeah, best. down four. Yeah, so I keep interrupting. Interrupt and I think even on hit. But anyways, it never hits because it's super slow. And yeah, Lei is jumping here, but um, it's hardly even a low crush, so I it doesn't see. really crush. Not a really good move. It's not really good. And then there is a forward forward 3 plus 4. This move is loved by um, party plays. I can see why. Yeah, so what they do is um, they intentionally whiff forward forward 3 plus 4 and then you try to float them with jabs or anything and then you get low launch. The, this, is, so, this is a gimmick. Yeah, this is a gimmick. But uh, you can kind of launch it. Let's try it. Okay. Do it again. I think you can float it. If you're fast enough, of course. Ah yes, yeah, there's the float. But um, that's very character specific. And yeah, I see, yeah. If it hits on block, just do a quick low. Do it again. Just do a low to get him out of the stance. If he does... Um, I'll try to mash something. Exactly. Yeah. If the low launch yeah. comes out, just interrupt. You don't have to respect him at all in this case. Yeah. And that's the best tip against Lay. Don't respect Lay. If you give a late player space, it's over. Because you eat 50-50s all the time. True, but true. if you disrespect Lay and just set pressure on him, on him he can't do shit. True, because, true. Yeah. Lay has a bad punish, you can party all the time. Hmm, so, interesting. Okay. Yeah, and then there is a uh, free free. So his 40 frames punish. If um, Lei uses that move in the open, um, you should try to parry the second hit. Don't block it. Okay. So you can launch punish it, but uh, some characters can't reach with a one standing punish. Okay, so, so it's just safer to low parry instead yeah, of just blocking. But if you know that your Coretta has a good standing punish that reaches, then you should go for a block. Yeah, then, then go for it. Like Lei, for example. Yeah, Lei has a good standing punish. It has uh, some range. Yes. But um, for example, Kazuya, with his standing 2 or Twin Pistons, I think he can't launch it. Okay. And if the standing 2 hits, um, then I'm in a weird stun back turn and he, get, he gets the awkward combo. So. Better, you better parry it. Yes. All right. Um. I think um, that that this that's move. yeah. This move here. It's uh, very dangerous. It's um four four and three. I don't know how to call the notation. Four so four gotta, and three. You gotta be four, uh, fast with four four. Uh, just um, um. Just four and four afterwards. Oh. Wait, what? Press it two times. Press it, Press two times four and be fast. Just I am four. fast. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm pressing four. <laughs> no, this is down three plus four. No, I'm pressing four. What? I'm just pressing four. This is the stance. Yeah, in the stance, I'm pressing four. Not in the stance, uh, in the open. If you're just uh, standing oh. like this. Down to, oh yeah, wait, what? Down, four, down 3 plus 4? No, just uh, press uh, 2 times 4. Like a magic 4, but uh, be really ah, quick. Ah, okay, I get it now, I get it now. <laughs> Let's try it again. Wow, how, how large is even? Uh, sorry? How is it going so far? It's... Um... It, right it's a, uh, it's long and confusing, but if I rewatch it the whole thing again, then I will have a good idea on how to fight versus Lay. Yeah, I really hope it's kind of helpful for all for viewers and uh, for you. For sure, it's going to be super helpful. I mean, I've learned a lot today about Lay.
it's just hard to remember all this information at once, you know? <laughs> when you're basically yeah. new to the character. And that's why I'm saying I think the best uh, strategy you can have against Lei is um, Anybody else yeah, want a piece? don't respect him, don't get confused, don't let him space, don't let him breathe. And no, when when's your momentum? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that was the right move. So you can press three afterwards uh -huh. and um, then have two kicks. Just one time three. Ah, and yes. That's a really good string. Because if my back is against the wall and um, I have no option to backdash and the second blow hits me, you are actually at plus nine. Oh, and yeah, so you get some mix up. Yeah. That's a good mix-up because um, you can wall blood with a homing mid, or you can launch with the low, and or you is... can just uh, finish the stream. Like this. Uh huh. And what are the frames on uh, on these moves? Like uh, from the stance, four is safe, um, right? Uh, four is might be safe. I don't use four very often, so. At this specific uh, mix-up, mm -hmm. I just uh, finish the string or do the low. It's 50-50. Uh, if the second hit, hits. Oh my. Yeah, I get hit by this all the time. <laughs> yeah, and um, you gotta block the second low. So if you see this coming out and the first hit hits your legs, mm -hmm. then just duck for the second low. Okay, Let let's try. Yeah. Okay, you can... So you yeah. can parry him. If you try to parry the second hit, it doesn't work. Yeah, you have to block. But if you block the first hit, which is uh, very rare, you can parry the second one. Oh. In that case, you can parry the second one. Mm, so it has a similar string, which is a double low. And uh, the way to escape the mix-up and be open, um, yeah. just do these moves, uh, these moves and um, the low of the stand, this one. So uh -huh. finish the spring one time on, and do the lower afterwards. Sorry? Um, so two low kicks, right, like this. Always do two lows and uh -huh. then the lower of the stance, so three lows. Got it. <laughs> Always mess up the inputs. I'm confused. You're mixing me up, that's unfair. <laughs> You're mixing me up, that doesn't work. <laughs> so, what you can do is... Um, Alright. If you block the second blow... Yes. You can um, crouch cancel, and then duck again. Ah, okay. Let's, let's try. Yeah. Hit me with it. Ah! And uh, you should be able to evade the mid at the end. If you yeah. crouch cancel. This is... Yeah, this covers both options. Yeah. So once again, correct movement will beat his options. Or just backdash. In the oh, yeah. If you just, or that, if you just backdash, it's both with. Yeah. I think that's the easiest way, but it's less rewarding. I think. Mm. But at the wall, it's really dangerous. Yeah. At the wall, it's very dangerous. So also, you might as well block the second hit. Also, Jin Kazama, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Thank you. Hope you're learning so, something today. Then there is his full crop down forward 2 1 4 spring. This one. Here. Uh, the what's the input? It's a full crop down forward 2 1 and 4. 4 at the end. Oh. Right. <laughs> Always block the second hit and punish in between. No plus any form. Like this. I see, yeah. So that's how you punish that string. Okay. And it goes into the uh, Dragonfly yeah, stance. Phoenix, and Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix, yes. And yeah, if you don't block the second hit and interrupt in between, it's a mix up because you can do the power crush then. Okay. And if somebody tries to interrupt, they get long. Well, it didn't work now because not enough health. Fight. So mm -hmm. then there is um, down back one. Down His back. Sitting snake stance. It's low into sitting snake. Mm -hmm. And again, not a mix up. You can just interrupt with down jab. Yeah. You have two follow ups. You have two follow ups there. It's one and four. 
4 is the low launch. Okay. And you can interrupt both options on here. With down jab or hop kick. This is good to know. So this is a bad move. Yeah, it is bad. Another gimmick, I'd say. Maybe. Yeah. Let's do um, okay. two last things, okay? Yes. Last things. So there's a guard breaker. It's forward neutral too. It has this weird animation, and you can parry the third hit with uh, forward three plus four. Okay. Yes. Like this. So you can always parry the third hit. Are, are the, all those hits mid? Um, I think the first one is the high, but um, well, yeah, doesn't like really matter. High mid. Okay. And if someone doesn't have a parry, what do they do? Um, I think that some characters are able to step out of it, like mm -hmm. Eddie again. I think he's able to somehow step out of the spring. But, okay, um, so somehow the character with the worst sidestep in the game is able to step it. Okay. <laughs> um, not sidestepping, he's able to step it uh, by holding back. Ah, I see. Back like backdash. Yeah. Not, not even backdash. Mm, just like back, back walk. Okay. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure mm. about that. Okay, okay. So you might as well go for the parry. And if the last uh, hit goes on block as well, this last one, yes. it's plus 5 for me. It's, mm. um, you have to respect my mix up there. Yeah. That's a scary situation, to be honest. Yeah, don't, you don't want to have that. No. Definitely and, not. Um, there are two very gimmicky springs you always need to block. It's back 1-2-1. One, one. This one gives a free wall flap if the low hits. So always block the third hit. Okay, block the third hit. Yeah, and launch punish it. Oh, okay. And Another string, you thing, know. Um, just block, one funny thing. Um, I got a guaranteed top hit here. Yeah, you definitely you want to, don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> on counter and, hit. Um, the last one is uh, this one. Backhand 1-1. One, one. Yes, but... Sorry. Always stop. Always stuck this spring. Gives a combo in the open for um, some intense damage. And mm -hmm. at the wall, you can follow up with Rage Art afterwards, all that stuff. So it's really dangerous. We can try it. Uh, which which hit should um, I. 1-1-3-2. Should I... Three, 1-1-3-2. One, Back turn 1-1-3-2. One, one, Let's try it. 1-1-3-2. One, one, uh, yeah, like this. Oh, and yeah. then rage out afterwards. Down forward, 3 plus 4. Oh my god. So yeah, that's a lot of heat. damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. So you better duck the screen. Yes. 50% <laughs> gone. But also, um, his wall combo is guaranteed afterward. Forward, 3 1, and uh, up back 4. Oh, I might not be able to remember that. Forward, 3 1. Yeah, forward 3 1, up back 4. Oh, okay, up back 4, okay. You know what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I forgot the inputs Let's immediately. Forward 3 1. Mm. See how hard Lay is? See how uh, hard he is? I mean, that's just a. <laughs> <laughs> muscle memory. I suck at muscle memory, but anyway. Let me show you. It's yes. um, pretty interesting because the damage is so high. If the first uh, two hits hit you, um, pull forward. The damage yeah. is pretty good. 50% gone, once again. Yeah, and uh, same with this ring. The wall blood is uh, even a high wall blood and good damage. See, he has, he has some really good streams at the wall. If, if the opponent doesn't know the matchup, that is. And maybe one last thing. If yes. I do combos, and um, oh, yeah. I think you die if I do a combo. But I, if I do this jump yes. um, after a spin, don't stand up because it's a mix-up. Free mix-up, yes. Was well, standing 3 plus 4. Or I can do the low. Oh. And yeah, most people That's die. That's scary. Yes. So just don't stand up. Okay, okay, so just avoid that mix up by not standing yeah. up. And uh, right, I think that's it. That's it? 
Okay, thanks very much for uh, telling me all, all this stuff about Lei. I really appreciate it. And uh, no problem. I will upload this to YouTube if you don't mind. I don't mind. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I hope got it a, helps. Yeah, got a lot of insight on the character. Thank you very much. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'll try to study the character more and we could uh, play more often. How about that? It's fine. It's fine to me. All right. Thanks very much. Um, I think I'm going to go play some ranked right now. All right. With Lei, maybe? <laughs> oh, <laughs> not sure about that. You gotta, you gotta that. Drunken Master first. Next yeah, first. Drunken Master. Okay, oh, I'm gonna yeah. watch that. That's gonna be you my homework. I, I did, I did, I do watch Jackie Chan movies. I love them. I just don't remember that that much. I I don't remember movies. How oh, dare you? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I but I do watch Jackie Chan. Yes. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Have fun then. Yeah. Th thanks very much once again. And uh, take care. We will sh we will surely play in the future. I'm gonna go All into right. rank. Alright, have fun. See you. Yeah, thanks. See you.